if you got if you meet a really attractive woman and i'm talking about one that is like out of your league like super attractive her pastor her brother her father and her personal trainer don't want you to do they don't want you to win no one is pulling for you do you guys understand right. this as men no one is pulling for you no <laughs> one no now, i am i'm pulling for you and you might have your homeboy but like nobody woke up this morning and they were like, hey, man, I sure hope Don Juan gets his dick wet and gets a million dollars this week. No <laughs> one said that. No one woke up this morning so excited for you to get for you to fuck some girl today. No one. And the girl you fuck, her dad wasn't excited about it. I guarantee you that. That wasn't what was going on. So, like, again, like, I just want you to know, guys, no one's pulling for you. I'm pulling for you. Uh, just me. But, like, for the m most part, no one gives a fuck. And so yeah. you have to understand. You have to understand these concepts. Does it make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think that's just to add something to what you said, Michael. I think it's um it's so great that you have these calls. And um I just was like agreeing with a majority of everything you were saying, really everything. I think just as a woman myself being a lot of you don't know my story, but I started off in Vegas um in the adult entertainment world, not not porn, but stripping and got out of that life and found my whole spiritual awakening and, but really teach the metaphysical principles. It's not woo woo. Like my stuff is science based, all that. But anyways, dealing with men in that walk of life in regular walk in my clients now and in marriages and things, I noticed that for me personally, in my relationships and in my intimate relationships, the men who always won or got my attention were the ones who fortune favors the bold. They were the bold men. They were the men who, like uh, Michael was saying, they didn't put me on a pedestal and they, now I'm not saying they were assholes to me. Like, of course there has to be finesse, but they treated me like I was just another woman. And even when they had my energy, they would kind of like Michael was saying, they would like kind of like ignore me. I hate to say it. They would like make me do more work. And then it made me crazy. I was like, wait, why, why aren't they giving me energy? And so I think that, you know, a lot of the things that he's saying, everything he's saying really is don't be a pussy, be bold. Like, no, like he's saying, no one is rooting for you. And you, the people that make imprints on the world and the men are the men who go against what every other man is doing. The guys who simp on me, I'm not interested in. It just, it's, it's boring. So anyways, I just wanted to add that little tidbit. Beautiful.